Napier is a coastal city on the east of New Zealand's North Island with a population of roughly 63,000 people. By the grace of Allah, on Saturday the 29th of October 2018, Majlis Khudamul Ahmadiyya New Zealand took the True Islam Roadshow to the city of Napier for the first time. To raise awareness and encourage participation at the event, different avenues were used. By the grace of Allah, the regional newspaper, the Hawke's Bay Today, which has an estimated readership of 48,000 people, published an article about the event. Many email invitations were also sent out and 2,200 leaflets were also distributed in the surrounding areas. Facebook advertising also proved to be a great success in drawing visitors. Seven members of Khudamul Ahmadiyya travelled roughly 350 to 400 kilometres from the cities of Auckland, Hamilton and Wellington and were joined by a Khadim from Napier. Other Jamaat representatives included the national president, missionary in charge, two national AMLA members, a Maori Ahmadi representative and three members of Lajnai Maila and some children. The True Islam Roadshow included the Quran exhibition, which displayed the Holy Quran in an array of languages, including New Zealand's very own Te Reo Māori translation, the language of the indigenous people of the country. The exhibition also presented an opportunity for people to listen to an Arabic recitation of the Holy Quran, which some people found very fascinating. The event also presented opportunities for Khudam to engage in meet a Muslim sessions with members of the public. These were informal and candid conversations held on a myriad of contemporary issues relating to Islam. The exhibition ran for six hours from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and drew in 105 people from varying backgrounds and faiths. The visitors particularly enjoyed the enlightening seminars that were held throughout the day on the topic of the Quran and terrorism. An array of questions followed in the open Q&A sessions on topics varying from Sharia law to women's rights. Many people took away Jamaat literature on topics of individual interest as well. Attendees left with very positive impressions of Islam. Even those with preconceived misconceptions about Islam were left to admit that the understanding and efforts of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community are genuinely revolutionary and need to continue to spread. The chief guest at the opening session, Councillor Apiata Tapine, whilst admitting that he had a very distorted understanding of the Quran and its teachings, said, The Quran teaches, from what I've learned today, teaches unity and understanding and respect one for another, and that such teachings are from a single divine source, uh, expressed and shared through many voices and many songs and many forms. He further said, the Torah of the Quran around New Zealand provides an opportunity for New Zealanders uh, to enter into a safe space where they're not pressured, where they're not challenged, where they're not diminished in any way of who they are or what they believe in, but rather an open opportunity to learn from the Quran, to learn from Muhammad, to watch and observe those who are the living embodiment of their faith around the world. He also said, It is a deep, rich faith that is, is expressed in a variety of beautiful ways. Uh, and I've enjoyed my learning experience today, and I'm now thirsty to understand more of um, that connectedness, that, that history, uh, and those teachings. Um, because today's visit has highlighted for me just how much misinformation is provided to us outside of um, the followers of the Quran. Mustansir Kamar, MTA International Studios, New Zealand.